What's up everybody? Welcome back to Tainted Grail. The second part in our journey through Avalon. Caradoc has rescued us from the Red Priests who kept us captive and told us that he wants us to kill King Arthur. I don't know if we can speak to speak to them and get a bit more of information. You're right there, Pop. Ready to kill a king. Uh. So you believe, Caradoc? How did the priests manage to catch you? Do you need any help with your wounds? Can you tell me about Dal Riata? Ha! No, but I've met other men like him. It's best not to argue with them. And if he keeps his word and gets us off this blasted island, I'll even help him get his fancy sword. I don't mind beating up some light keepers either. Pack of self-righteous pricks. Annoying as hell. Yeah, so he, I think he also wants us... Caradoc also wants us to get Excalibur. I think mean, that's the whole purpose of this, is to get Excalibur and to somehow kill King Arthur. Although I'm not entirely sure why he wants King Arthur dead. I have a feeling that King Arthur in this isn't the... the sort of the good guy that he kind of is in myth. What did the Keepers ever do to you? Ha! Huh. Like they could do anything to me. Bunch of wet rags. You'll meet them, you'll see. They go on about duty and honour and protecting the South. Yeah, right. They can't even protect their own asses, so they just sit on them inside the walls. Miserable gobshites. Just thinking about them makes me want to hurl. I thought you'd be more worried. Ha! Huh. What's there to worry about? If that shifty old bastard tries anything, I'll send him to meet his dead king in the afterlife. Maybe that'll straighten him out. Okay, how do the priests manage to catch you? With great bloody difficulty, that's how. <laughs> What's it to you anyway? You think you can try your luck now? I wouldn't count on it. I heard them saying you didn't even put up a fight. Persuade, come on. It must have been a legendary battle. You must have taken out at least a dozen of them. Yeah, let's try and keep him sweet. A dozen? Ha! They wish. Those bastards laid a trap, hoping it'd be easy pickings. They ended up needing damn near a full army to take me down. Spineless pricks. They make my blood boil. I swear to you, one day I'll come back to this place, slaughter them all, and then burn it to the ground. Wow. Well, you know what, fair enough, they did capture you and stick you in a prison. You don't look like someone who'd easily fall into a trap. There was me, there were women, one thing led to another, and I woke up with my pants down, surrounded by gobshites in the red. I was fighting with my bare ass hanging out, and I still managed to kill a dozen of them. Useless knobs. Must have added something to the mead. <laughs> so you think he's been poisoned? Okay, do you need help with your wounds? He looks alright. Hell no. I ain't letting anyone touch me unless I'm in a brothel. Ah, shite. Just remembered they don't have any of those in the horns. And I thought this day couldn't get any worse. Anyway, worry about yourself. Or the lass with the horns. I'll live. Tell me about Dal Riata. I don't know what that is. Which tribe do you want to know about? Oh. Volker, Svein, Dude. You'll find as many of them as fleas on a mutt. And the only thing we all agree on is that Camelot needs to be put in its place. It's about time we reminded them why they wanted us to come here. Oh, uh, okay, so that must be where he comes from then. Why do your people hate Cam- yeah, that's a good question. What is- what's wrong with Camelot? We came to this blasted island as one people. But Camelot forgot that the moment they stopped needing us for their wars. They think their shit doesn't smell, and that we're just a bunch of stupid savages that'll happily get killed for a bag of coins and a pretty promise. Bunch of smug pricks. Uh, okay, so... Okay, so Camelot must have maybe... Do they... Are they hired them maybe as mercenaries? Maybe. I'll see you on the boat. Okay. That you will, Bob. That you will. Okay, so... He's mad at them because he feels that his people have been wronged by Camelot. 
So what's what's her deal? I have a bad feeling about all this. I wish there was some other way of getting off this cursed island. Her voice acting is really good. You don't trust Caradoc. No, neither do I, to be honest with you. I trust he won't kill us until he gets what he wants. But what he wants is... Well, you heard him. It's pure insanity. So we're in the hands of either a madman or a liar. And I'm not sure which one is worse. He did save us, that's a good point. He did, but he s did he save us just to get what he wants? Because someone ordered him to, that's what worries me the most. Think about it. He helped us escape, and nobody even tried to stop him. He just came and went as he pleased. His employers must be some powerful people, and when powerful people take an interest in you, it never ends well. So you don't believe what he said about King Arthur? You're not serious, are you? Are you really asking me if I believe that some shadowy people in Camelot resurrect King Arthur whenever they need him and then fling him back into his tomb when they don't? Trust me, no matter what Caradoc claims, weirdness cannot bring back the dead. The only thing it can bring is misery. It is the myth, though, that King Arthur will come back whenever his country needs him. That is the myth. Well, he's he's alone, and there are three of us. Oh. Yes. He's also awfully confident for someone so outnumbered. There is a strange aura about him. I can't put my finger on it. But I'll be honest with you. Right now, I couldn't overpower a kitten, much less an armed mercenary. I'm not sure we can count on Conquer either. A Conquer. He looks tough, but... Well, the priests were sure happy to have him. Still, if push comes to shove, we might be left with no choice. Mm hmm. We could try and find another way. We could. But what if we get caught again? Gods only know what they do to me now. The bastards were already getting bored soaring off my horns and watching them grow back. Ooh. Besides, look around. Nothing here but rocks and maniacs in red. I'm afraid Caradoc's boat is our only option. Yeah. How did you end up here? Same as you, I guess. Wrong time, wrong place. The village I was passing through got raided by the Red Shields. Someone must have really hated their neighbor, if you know what I mean. They snatched me up too. Said that since I was an outsider, I was most likely the one who bought the plague. <laughs> Scum. Hmm. I thought Picts didn't leave their tribes. Persuade, come on, you can trust me. It's not like I can tell anyone. I met a Pictish woman while escaping the island asylum. You better remember that I can push you off the boat. And I will if you don't learn to mind your own business. Oh, that didn't work. Fair enough. So, about the horns on your head. <laughs> That's a little rude, dude. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna upset her even more. I will get some rest. It might be for the best. Something tells me we'll all need our strength. Hmm. To be fair, we don't even know how we got there. We don't know how we got captured, we don't know our backstory, we don't know anything. I told you to get some rest. All right. The journey ahead won't be pleasant. The sea is angry today. Jesus. I want to, just want to have a chat. Because I was told to. And there are certain orders you just have to follow, whether you want to or not. The path you told me to take, what was all that? I wish I could tell you, but I have no idea where it led. And I don't want to know. All I know is that I was supposed to show you the way. The question was whether you were meant to see it through. It seems you were. Oh, so you managed to get out a different way? How did you manage to get out a different way? There was no other way out, I don't think. It was certainly built by the four dwellers. I saw men here. It transported me somewhere. I don't need to know and I don't really want to know. You can explain it all to my patron when we get to our destination. 
Fair enough. Who's your patron? Everyone's working for someone. But don't even hope I'll tell you who I'm working for. Yeah. You've proven you're a survivor. You still haven't proven we can trust you. Yeah, well, where's our destination? All you need to know for now is that we're heading towards the Horns of the South. There, we're going to take Excalibur and then be on our way. Yes, the one and only. Listen, I can see you have a lot of questions, but I truly have no intention of answering them. Maybe you can just get some rest instead. So you just want us to just randomly steal Excalibur with no explanation whatsoever, and they're just going to give it to us? Well, we'll have to see about that, won't we? Yeah, <laughs> so about killing King Arthur. Yes, I know it's hard to wrap your brain around it, but you'll either trust my word or you won't. The man has died several times now. It's time somebody got rid of him for good. But why? Ah, yeah, exactly. But why? Because it's against nature, and his sins are way too big to let him persist. Nothing could bring me more joy than seeing his empire finally crumble. I think I need to know some of the background about why everybody doesn't like him. Is he a tyrant or something? How do they resurrect him? You thought what you saw in the island asylum was bad? That's child's play compared to the forbidden rituals they performed to bring his carcass back to life over and over again. Or is it the case that he was good at one point and now he's being resurrected to... Um perform evil duties is the pe are the people who are bringing him back getting him to do things he wouldn't he wouldn't have done when he was alive is that kind of what's going on i don't know we're going to have to try and uncover all this so i think yeah the only thing we've got left to do now is to sail so let's go to the horns of the south you have decided to trust caradoc at least for now. You have embarked on your journey towards the Horns of the South. But as soon as you found yourselves at sea, black clouds gathered over your heads, like tangible proof that there must be some curse on you. Soon the wind was howling, and the gargantuan waves were towering over you. You found yourselves in the heart of a storm. The only thing you remember is the deafening roar of cracking wood and then darkness. You open your eyes. You are alive. Ooh, okay. So, we've been shipwrecked. Level up, P. Right. Okay, so. We've been caught in a storm, and we've been shipwrecked. Points available, one. These are your base stats, which influence all things you do in the game. Okay, so can we put one on one of these, I'm guessing? Uh, strength, these are all pretty obvious. These are pretty standard RPG stats. Endurance is always a good one to level up, I think, to begin, it, to, to begin with, so... Um, Oh, no, we've got more than what? Okay, where's the points coming from? How many have we got? Oh, it is just one? Okay, that's fine. So, yeah, we'll put that there and then available points. Can we add anything to here? Uh, Death's Whisper. Every hit has a 5% chance of being critical. That's not bad. Staggering Strike. Heavy and very heavy, and very heavy weapon attacks have 5% chance to stagger. Okay. Barefist Brawler. When fighting unarmed. It's not something I'm going to be doing a lot of. Oh, there's loads. There's loads of really good ones. Um, what was that one there? Hitting an enemy's weak spot deals plus 50% damage. So enemies have weak spots. Okay, that's good to know. Astral bonds. That's magic. I'm not interested in that just yet. I know we are kind of like a, a spell sword, or I've forgotten what the name of it uh, name of it is, but. We kind of have magic and weapons, but I want to concentrate on on the weapon to begin with. 
I think we're gonna go for Sword Breaker. Parrying drains twice as much stamina from enemy from enemies. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. So our quest then at the moment. Oh, we've got a few, I think. Uh, a will to win. I'm guessing that's the main objective. The Four Dwellers' Soul asked me to find more of its pieces within the weirdness. Yes, it did. Uh, the once and future king, Caradoc, has saved us so that we can help him kill King Arthur and steal Excalibur from the Horns of the South. And this is the active one. To, the pin that Caradoc gave us should grant me safe passage to the Horns of the South, so we need to make our way to the Horns of the South. Catherine died in childbirth. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we need, yes, we need we need to tell her husband definitely if we can come across him. And then what's this one? The world is silent. I found a letter that describes heresies happening on the island asylum. Yes. Okay. 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 Let's just so look at our map. Oh wow, Kate's okay, massive. Okay, that's yeah, that's pretty big. So shadow of the horn. So that's our current objective. And that's granting us safe passage, but where would this be? If we put that. It's not showing it up. Do we have to do that one first? Or this one maybe? Map? Yeah, it's not showing it up. Okay. So we should probably then... Let's have a look along the beach, see if we've got anything. There's the boat. So where's the rest of our party? Whoa! What is that? What on earth are they? That's epic. Okay. Let's just see if we can find anything. Empty. Oh, there's someone here. Is that, um... <gasps> Oh no, that's Conker! He's dead? No way! Are they all dead? Oh no, not Conker. What's he got? Sealed letter from Caradoc. Interesting, sealed letter. Open this only in the event of my death. Sealed letter from Caradoc. I understand you may not trust me, however, you owe me your life, and I need this debt to be repaid. The Nameless One, the one I rescued from prison, they are more important than any of you realize. You must protect them. Bring them to the Captain of the Horns and ensure they undergo the ancient trial of the sea. I realize I am asking a lot, but we must put an end to this madness. Caradoc. The Nameless One, the one I rescued from prison. Well, that's obviously me. Okay. Wolf's Call. Rusty Hand Axe. And his kilt. Are we just going to take his kilt off him? Where would that go? Would it go on here? Yeah. Ten armor. What, are we rocking at the moment? Rocking three armor? We had ten armor this whole time? Fourteen armor. Nice! Oh, that looks sick! Do we have anything else that we picked up? No. Oh, we do, but that's rubbish. Anything else? No boots. No, we're wearing the best ones. Okay. Oh, no, his axe. Is that better than what we've got? We've got the sword. That's 8 to 11. 8 to 10. No, it's not as good. Wolf's Call, 25 mana. Summons a wolf to fight on, on your side. That's pretty sick. Oh, poor Conker. That's a shame. We'll take that. A potato? I wonder what happened to the other two then. Where's Caradoc and... I've forgotten the name of the, of the woman. Anything in here? So, some apples... Some poultry. Do we have to cook that? Yes, we do, don't we? There is cooking. We saw that in the first episode. Okay, so... Is it getting dark? 
feel like it's gotten darker. Walk further on then. So I think the first thing we need to do... Oh, and we've got some things up here on the map. Can we just... Yeah, we can. So what have we got here? It's not showing us very much. Okay. The road goes up there, but then there's like a camp here. Oh, there's someone there. What's that? What is that? Like a little goblin? I think it's killed somebody. Oh. Corpse eater. Oh. Oh. Can we not block these? Ooh. I didn't do very well against him. It's blood clots. <laughs> He's so many... You can just pick blood clots out of people. Ah, that looks so epic. So what's happened here? Who's this? Keeper's tag. This looks pretty good armor. This must be better than what we've got. Is it? What are we on? Five? Oh, yes, it is. Seven. Oh, nice. That looks really good. No helmet. This is three. Four. Yeah. Nice. Nice gauntlets. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, five armor. No, I think ours is better. Forty. It is miles better. Fourteen. Boots. Five armor. Okay, cool. We're looking pretty badass. Wolf pelt, fangs. You get um, you get some good stuff quite early on then in this game. Through the blacksmith's eye. We'll read that um, in a bit. Just want to get some get some things done. Can we fish? Fishing rod. Cook some stuff. Nice. Cooking's improved. Awesome. We can rest, but we think we oh no, what we could do with healing actually. Uh nice. Okay, so where we need to go is this direction. So do we keep I'll keep heading up here for now. This looks great, by the way. It looks so good. It's got a very specific style. It's not really like anything that I've that I've seen before, if I'm honest. What is this place? Like a Oh, what's that? Are they wolves? Sneak over to here. Some coins, some moonshine. Ooh, parsley. What's that? Oh, dig, nice. And again, and again, there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, sword, 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 sword. There we go, three hits. Three hits does a wolf, wolf pelt. I wonder if we can sell them. Well, would we have some raspberries, some arrows? That's good. I won't bother with the rusty sh uh, sword because we've got that. Hang on, was that a short sword or was that a rusty? Yeah, short sword. We know we've got one of them. Is that a banner? So this looked looks like it was probably a village at one point. Can we get anything off this? No. Carrot, crab. We'll take all the food because we can. Clearly make stuff out of it. Are they more corpse eaters down there? They look like it. Let's go and see what this question mark is. I don't think it's far. And then I think it's... Ooh. Wow. Castle? And then I think we should probably head up there because I think we're going to get... Some more information about our objectives. It's down here, though. The 
Look what you've done, you fool. It's always the same with you. Beat them up first, ask questions later, damn it. And now we have no gold, no nothing, just a pile of old stones and a dead body. No, come off it. Let's just take what he had and let's get out of here. But he didn't have shut. A piece of iron and a slip of paper. You can't even wipe your ass with it. And you said he was supposed to be some great lord. Oh dear. Got a couple of... A couple of thieves. Let's see if we can... My sneak's improved. Clearly this is where the question mark is. We're going to have to dispatch of them, I think. Can we get a shot off at them, maybe, with the bow? See if we can get him from here. Yeah. Oh, just missed him. Well, there's one. I don't think we... <laughs> I think we did it without alerting the other one. Fireball? Broken arrow. Dull broadsword. I really want a good one-handed weapon so I can use the shield. That's really what I like to use. A good sword and shield. Is that the other one? Yeah, that is. See if we can go around the other way. I have to say the, um, ooh, pickaxe, do we need that? I'll take it. Um, the performance is, has definitely improved in this game. The last time I played this, I think I remember, um, it being a little bit more choppy than this. Is that who they've killed? Yeah. And there's the other one. Get him in the head. Nice. Letter to Alias. Dear Alias, you, my most faithful companion, are my only hope. Go to the All Mother's Shrine, perform the following ritual, and bring me the amulet you will surely be gifted. Granny said that you need to make an offering of a rose, some sage, and a feather. This is my last hope to save my little beautiful daughter. Return safely, and may the All Mother protect you. Lady Cardia. Okay. What do we need? Some sage. Did we pick up some sage? A rose and feather. Okay. Sage, rose, and feather. Any of these better than what we've got? I doubt it. Mm, oh. The same as the leather pants. What do they look like? No. Nah, no, nah, the kilt's way cooler. Okay. What'd this guy have on him? Another broadsword. Causes berserk for a period of time. Okay. Whoa, what is over there? What is that? Okay, so am I walking into a... This doesn't look very friendly, I have to say. Am I walking into a massive trap or a massive enemy's castle? What are these? These corpse eaters? Oh my god, keep missing. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. It feels good. The combat feels good. It feels chuggy. Um, chuggy in a good way. I mean, like, as in. Oh, that. Puddle looks really good. Um, sorry, I'm just geeking out. 
Uh, no, it, it feels... I don't know, heavy. Like, you, you feel the weight in the... You feel the weight in the weapon. It feels good. Ooh, 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 ooh. What's happened here? Far oh, a fast travel point. Oh, nice, okay. Milkweed Sage. Nice, we needed that. Although I think we already had some. Right. So... Oh, I thought this was a... Oh! Wow, is this just like, um... Like a border? Wow. Holy hell, that looks really good. That's a great screenshot. <laughs> wow. Can we get up there? Of enemies up there, what are they? By noose? Oh, you can get up there. How much longer do we have to wait to take down that damn noose? Four days and four nights. That's what the arsehole told me. Said it'd bring bad luck if we cut them down too soon. So that they're dead. It's not like they'll get any more dead in three days' time. Don't see me freeze my balls off. Don't you bloody touch it! You've got enough bad luck as it is. We don't need to sprinkle anymore just because you're lazy. Eh, hey, fine, fine. But if that bastard doesn't bite the noose from us, we'll up with him. What have they got to do? They've got to... Look after a noose and wait for a guy to help cut it down? That doesn't make any sense. An outcast peasant. Why are these enemies? I don't understand. If, they, if they're just peasants, why am I having to kill them? Do I have to kill them? Or am I just assuming that they're bad? Ooh, no. Who are you? Well, that's an outlaw. You're in for a world of hurt! Uh-oh. I'll leave you in pieces! I'll leave you in pieces! Uh-oh. Run away. Run away. Oh, nice. They'll take you down with me. Okay, that's two. Healed up. Oh, just missed that. Can we not? I'm not even going to try. All right, we need to get to him. Oh. Oh, I missed. There we go. That was good. That was a good battle. Oh dear. Branded skin. What does that do? Lockpick, nice. Looter's mask. I don't think these are going to be better than what we've got, but we'll have a look. Short bow, is that the same as what we've got? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, the mask looks pretty good. We'll keep, we'll rock that for a second. What have we got? Torn Keeper's Armour. Oh yeah, that is better. Gauntlets are okay. That's still the best. And they're still the best. I think we might have to start dropping some stuff soon. Are we okay? Oh no, 77 out of 155. We've got low. <laughs> we've got so much carrying space. Where were the other two? Do what they've got some milk, lockpick. Nice. Don't think anything else is useful. No. So what happened here? Is this just the gallows? Can we take the noose that they wanted? They're worried about cutting them down. Can we do that? I <laughs> thought maybe I could cut them down. Letter from Shady. Does that say merchant? Yeah. 
Pay attention, you morons, because my patience is running thin. I need a hanged man's noose, an ogre's right toe, and a couple of drowner tongues. And trust me, I can tell the difference between a drowner tongue and a dead horse's tongue. Because I, unlike you, am not a complete idiot. If you try and swindle me one more time, our deal is over. And stop asking for money up front. You bring me the goods, you get the money. That's it. End of story. P.S. You can bring me the hanged man's tongue, though. Might be useful. M. Interesting. There's a drowner tongue. So can we get the noose? No? This one? No? Is there no way I can find out who M is, bring him all this stuff? I've got to go up here. I have to go up there. I've no idea what's up there, but I have to go, because it just looks so epic. Plus, we'll get a good view. Whoa! the hang of it. We're slowly doing it. Oh, a short sword. That's what we wanted. That's what we needed. We'll swap that with the short sword. 12 out of 15. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's replace that with... It's a blood fairy. Causes... Oh, causes the berserk. So we've got health there. That's another health potion. Yeah, nice. So let's eat something. Let's use the food before we eat, before we use the uh, the health potions, and we'll switch to the short sword. And yes, yeah, nice. I, there's something about a shield that I just really like. Plus, I think it might come in handy if we come across archers. Wow, he's got a mace. Ooh. Oh, see ya. Oh, I wanted your mace. Oh, there's quite a few people that have fallen off. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. There's so many people that have fallen off. Well, we're going to have to go down, aren't we? There's a house down there or something? Yeah, we're going <laughs> to have to go down. You'd think you'd put up a uh, bit of a barrier there. It's clearly a, a, a hazard. What is this place, though? Garlic? Oh my god! Okay, 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 okay. I won't go down easy! Okay, just time our blocks. We'll have to do better than that! Yeah. Fish. Gore grog. Another causes berserk. A claymore. Jesus Christ. What does that do? Is that 18 to 22? Wow. Yeah, okay. We'll put that there then. 18 to 22. Jesus. Soul stone. Charge a soul stone with each kill when. Charge a soul stone with each kill when fully charged. The soul stone is destroyed and fully heals players' health and mana. Wow. 